Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to a very highly requested time management tips slash advice video. I had been meaning to do this for quite a long time. But anyways, I am gonna film it now and I'm gonna share with you guys what I do to like manage my time effectively, try and control time, which is basically impossible to do. But I do try my best to like slow down time. I have always grown up having a lot to do like i've just naturally had to effectively manage my time and prioritize i haven't really ever thought twice about it but when i think about what helps me manage time i do have certain strategies and things that i do all the time so i'm gonna sit here and share them with you everyone has the same finite amount of time like 24 hours in a day every single day you know we can't change that and i feel like any use of your time is valuable and worthwhile if that activity you're doing is something you're motivated to do, something you intend to do, and a priority in your life sort of thing. If you want to sleep all morning and that's a priority for you, then that's fine, that's valuable use of your time, right? If you want to, I don't know, study all morning instead and that's a priority for you, then also that's valuable use of your time, right? I just think that everyone needs to set their own goals and intentions and with those in mind, you can start to like manage your time and juggle things and prioritize effectively and strategically, right? So that's what we're gonna talk about, but I want you to keep that in your mind. Everyone has the same amount of time. We have five five tips okay five of my main tips and then i'm gonna share some general advice at the end and answer some commonly asked questions and stuff like this regarding time management that i see come up in like my comments and my dms all the time and i am going to use timestamps because i think they're really convenient so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video like it if you do comment down below subscribe and hit the bell as usual okay so anyway tip number one we're going to jump straight in so this is weekly planning weekly planning this has been a game changer for me and this is why it had to be my first tip I really do feel like my bullet journal needs a name, but it's just my bullet journal at this point in time. I got it quite spontaneously on Amazon. The link is always in my description box because I really love this bullet journal. It's just like so good. But anyway, I got my bullet journal kind of like at the start of lockdown in the UK. And this is when I really took weekly planning seriously because I basically immediately noticed how much more effective it was in comparison to daily planning. And as I said, like it's changed the way I manage my time and it really just has helped me feel as if I'm controlling time, as I said. It's impossible to do that, but sometimes you need to feel as if you are controlling time or at least give the illusion that you're controlling time, right? Because time is always like that person in a marathon or a race, a long distance race. I've never done a marathon, but it doesn't matter. In my head, time is always the runner at the start of that race, like in first position the whole time and they just don't stop. They don't tire and your job is to try and keep up with them. And with weekly planning in my bullet journal, I feel as if I'm running next to time. Okay, I do love my analogies. I just now feel like daily planning is just not as effective because you're basically ignorant to all the other days in that week. You're just focusing on that one day. And I feel like that time frame is a bit too short because I was just trying to do as much as possible. And obviously you can't get everything done in one day. And so I was just doing things in a very like inefficient order. I wasn't really prioritizing effectively. And then on the other extreme, like planning over a month is just way too long. Definitely have like monthly goals in mind or like yearly goals you want to achieve. But I just wouldn't plan every single day in a month. That would just be like way too overwhelming. In in terms of like how I do it, the actual steps I take to weekly planning in this thing, normally on Sunday evening or sometimes it's Monday morning, I will create like a big long to-do list and I normally do that on my Mac, on like my notes, just a random note which I will eventually just delete. And then I look at my previous week and see what I haven't finished or completed yet and so I highlight those, I basically colour that in yellow. I basically draw up my template so I have Monday to Sunday and then I start to put in the different things I want to do on each day so I just like spread it over the seven days. My next piece of advice is prioritization because I know the thing that you're thinking is like how do I determine the order in which I do all of these activities and these tasks and things you know like how do I say if I'm going to do one thing on Tuesday or Wednesday and that's what I'm going to talk about next but just to finish off this first point about weekly planning in the bullet journal i just wanted to say that for me personally the old-fashioned way of like writing things down and like physically taking things off i love i think it's so therapeutic to like get out a pen i use my fountain pen to like draw out my weekly plan take some time to make it look nice and then like physically take something off to me 
I love that. But yeah, like obviously not everyone wants to do that. So if you want to try weekly planning, but you don't want to write it down, try doing it digitally or something. If you are gonna write it down though, I would highly, highly recommend though getting like a notebook or a bullet journal to do it because I was doing it on random sheets of paper before I turned to a bullet journal and that just got really, really messy because I'd finish one week, but there would still be things that I'd need to do. And so I'd keep that piece of paper and then they'd just be flying around everywhere and I would just not be able to keep track of everything. So have like a dedicated book like my bullet journal just works perfectly for me oh yeah and the diary question the diary question that i always get asked because i use my bullet journal primarily but i also have a diary okay it's such an ugly diary just please don't judge but i got this at the start of 2020 because i needed a diary and then i got a bullet journal in like may ideally i'd want them like combined but i haven't found anything that i like yet so i'm just crazy I use my diary to essentially write down like when I have say tutorials or seminars or Q&A sessions or meetings you know like things that have dedicated time slots and then I will just like write in my bullet journal on one day like tutoring or like tutorial. It's fine to manage both but in an ideal world. I would have them like integrated. Okay, moving on, tip number two. Basically, as I said, it's prioritization. How do I decide whether A is more important than B and should be done before B, you know? How do I like order things and spread it throughout my week? I feel like prioritization is one of those things where sometimes it's so easy and so obvious, but other times it's so difficult to determine what you should do first. And so you end up doing the thing that's easiest because you're just like, I just don't know which is more important. But yeah, most of the time it's really obvious for me. I'm like, I have to do this on Monday. I have to do this on Wednesday. I have a tutorial on Wednesday, so I have to do the prep before Wednesday. Like sometimes it's really, really obvious. But with the things that are just so hard, I came across one method, which I thought was quite good when I was watching a Skillshare course. And it was basically to like put money on each of your tasks, like the easy ones and the things that aren't too important, you say are like worth five pounds. And then the more important things that you have to do that are gonna take most time, the things that are gonna be most like mentally challenging and taxing for you those are like the million dollar million dollar i'm british holly the million pound things or ten thousand pounds you know like you can do it that way i thought that was pretty cool and i was like oh that could work but i have found something that i do instead of this and something i prefer obviously so it's a thought process and it's a series of binary questions that you just ask yourself so i'm gonna think of an example it's what day is it today do we know what day it is today holly Hmm. I think it's Thursday. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's Thursday today. Let's imagine hypothetically that next Thursday I have a big deadline for like an essay. So I need to prepare for it, I need to read for it, I need to write the essay, double check it, etc. submit it. I will then ask myself, okay, Holly, if I haven't done this task by next Thursday, will I be stressed, yes or no? Obviously I'm gonna be stressed because that's the day of the deadline. Okay, so then I work backwards basically. If I haven't done this essay by, I don't know, let's say Monday, would I be stressed? Yes. Yeah. I probably still would be stressed if I hadn't started it okay then I'll work backwards again okay say if I haven't done anything or even started the preparation by this Saturday would I be stressed yes or no I'd be okay but ideally I'd want to start it before then so maybe I will write in my bullet journal you know on Friday of this week so tomorrow I need to get started with the essay at least start planning and preparing it so that I don't like start to feel stressed about this deadline that's coming up you don't even have to ask yourself am I stressed or not you could say would I be pleased if i'd done it by then and like how pleased would you be out of five say you can change it you can put a spin on it you can try whatever you like but for me i think that works really well i just ask myself how stressed am i gonna be and it helps me like organize what i have to do tip number three is basically something that i call power hours or power one and a half hours but that just doesn't sound as good i do this so i have a power hour sometimes midweek and often at the end of a week and basically it's where i sit down for like an hour or sometimes i don't sit down depends on what i'm doing and I do everything that I've been putting off that week or I haven't yet completed the smaller kind of tasks that I've just been like no I'm not gonna do that yet I dedicate an hour and I get them all done I try and do as many as possible as efficiently as I can sometimes yes it spills over to an hour and a half but the point is you have to set yourself quite a short duration of time because if you say give yourself three hours to do all of these smaller tasks you're not gonna be efficient because you don't have that time pressure on your shoulders it's basically like hit hit is high intensity interval training you can only do hit really effectively for like 
20 minutes maximum. If you start to go into like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you're not gonna be working very hard and at that high level intensity for those 30 or 40 seconds or minute that you've set yourself in that interval. It's not medium intensity, it's not low intensity, it's high intensity. So you want to be working for a short overall duration and working really, really hard for those intervals. And that's exactly the same with a power hour. You have to be working efficiently, you have to be fully focused for that hour that you set yourself. Have a mental note or physically write a list of all the things you're gonna get done in that hour or an hour and a half and just literally do them work your way through them just get them done back to back with this idea of a power hour i wanted to talk about the two minute rule so the two minute rule is basically if an activity or something is literally going to take you no more than two minutes you literally do it now this is fake grass but imagine this is real luscious green grass if i had to water this and it was on my to-do list for that day i would just do it now because it's not going to take me longer than two minutes that's the two minute rule Sorry, grass, you're not real. I like the idea of a two minute rule, but I feel like if you always think about this idea of a two minute rule and you kind of try and get all of the tasks done that are gonna take you very little time, you're not gonna be doing the things that are most important, like those most energetically and mentally taxing things. You're just gonna be putting those off. You're just gonna get stuck in this like rut of doing all of the things that don't take you very long, that are easy for you to do. And so I save like those things for like a power hour. A power hour is perfect. All of those two minute things or those five minutes 10 minute jobs that you need to get done because you've been putting them off right do all of those things in a power hour sometimes my power hour might be like finishing an essay proofreading an essay it might just be one thing but i wanted to talk about that two minute rule because i feel like yes it's legit and it works however don't just do all of the two minute things all the time because you'll just be putting off the other things that are more important and that you should prioritize okay so the fourth thing i'm going to talk about is basically setting timers it's something so simple to do literally i'm just like alexa set a timer for two minutes two minutes starting now basically setting timers allows me to keep track of time i've always done this i've done this for a really long time and it works so well for me i would also say that it is really useful to get used to knowing what time it is how long it normally takes you to do certain things like i would say at this point in time i am really quite good at saying like you know i've been sitting here for like two hours now or i've been doing this for like an hour i am quite good at knowing how long things take me and obviously that just comes with time i normally ask alexa but this is like a 15 minute thing Cute. Tip number five is basically alternations or my alternation sessions. Again, this is something that personally works for me. It might not work for everyone. It's basically where I pick two activities. It's never more than two things, but I will do one of them for like half an hour and then I will swap and do the other for half an hour. And then I will keep alternating, say for a maximum of like four hours. Obviously, sometimes you need to be focused entirely on one thing. So it's not going to work all the time. But I do feel like half an hour is a good enough time for you to focus on one thing. And then when your mind starts to wander, you can go to another activity focus on that for half an hour and then go back to the other you can even say like do one for half an hour one for 15 minutes one for half an hour one for 15 minutes if you don't think half an hour is appropriate for one of them but yeah like make it your own and be really flexible with it but that is what i do with like alternation and that's obviously instead of trying to like literally multitask and do two things at once like doing them completely simultaneously just won't work because you will not be able to focus and split your mind on both of them equally so yeah alternate focus on one and then focus on another and that is like my idea and my spin on multitasking okay so with general advice i would say that being busy definitely makes me more efficient when i have more things to do i'm like forced to get on and obviously motivation is a big thing in this i'm not going to talk about motivation in this video but if you want to see a video on like motivation let me know also when you are busy when you take a break you'll just feel so zen in your breaks and it'll be so much more worthwhile because you've like worked super hard and then you take your break and you're just like yes i can sit and breathe and stop for a bit we just need to say that i'm not sitting here being like you have to be busy all the time like your version of being busy is not the same as somebody else's version of busy and if something is worth your time like your time nobody else's time then that's fine like you go ahead and do that so yeah that's really important and then other general things like obviously get enough sleep get enough sleep for you fuel your body hydrate take breaks move your body sort of thing take time to like de-stress don't be on your phone all the time and i now just have questions that i pick up on all the time so the first one is do i plan every single hour of my day and the answer in short is no I generally don't do this I just have my list of things I want to do on one day and then I will kind of order them I never really set timings however I have done that occasionally I'm not saying I've never done that I didn't actually say but sometimes I do order the things in my bullet journal like I'll put a number by each of the things I want to do that day and that's the order that I'm going to do them in but who knows I might try it for a video just to see how like effective it is because as I said I don't do it very often I haven't done it consistently another is like how many hours do I sleep it's normally like seven or eight hours 
hours and then related to that do you need to get up super super early to like be productive the answer to that is no like if you're not a morning person don't get up early it's not about the length of the time that you're working for it's just working in a more efficient way okay another question that i see all the time is basically do i watch anything like do i watch any youtube or do i watch tv yes i do watch youtube i do watch some youtube videos i don't watch them all the time i don't usually watch them throughout the day because i just feel like that breaks up my day normally it's in the evenings if i watch youtube i think you'd be surprised if i told you what i actually watch on youtube and the creators i tap into regularly but anyways we're not gonna get into that and then tv i really don't watch tv like at all a few weeks ago just before i started my masters i did like start to watch last year's winter love island but i didn't finish it i like watched eight episodes or something but then i started my masters and i had too much and i just didn't get on with it i just get bored quite easily like i've never had netflix so no i generally don't really watch tv but something i wanted to talk about at the end of this video which is related to this is how can i like improve my time management because i can still improve myself so basically the first thing is like sometimes yes i do need to learn to chill a bit more sometimes i don't give myself enough breaks and sometimes i underestimate the power of taking a break and just like having a reset and the second thing is that sometimes i just get way too carried away like my transition to like the next thing just is not smooth but yeah as i said we can all work on things and i just wanted to share some of the things i'm working on so yeah that was my time management video i really really hope this was useful obviously there are general things as i said but i didn't just want to make this whole video like general advice because they're kind of obvious but i just wanted to remind you of those things i really did want to share the more unusual or personal things that i do because they work for me they really do work for me and i hope if you try some of them they might help you guys so yeah definitely like this video if you enjoyed it as i said at the start comment down below subscribe definitely have the bell turned on like honestly the next video after this one i'm pretty sure it's going to be a weekly vlog but it's going to be a weekly vlog where i show you my full weekly plan so if you want to see this full thing in action like i'm going to show you my to-do list for every day and i'm taking you through my week so i'm still midway through filming this video but i'm going to show you what i get done if i don't get things done and how i like go through my week i will speak to you very soon in another video and yeah bye